and you're about to share the film with audiences. Talk about what audiences can expect to see in the theater. Well, you know, I'm so excited that Crimson Creek is opening, and I think audiences can expect um, a immersive uh, experience in a in a dark fairy tale. Um, it's very very spooky. It's very passionate, um, and it takes you on a journey. It takes you it really takes you on a journey into this um, extraordinary world, which is created by the imagination of Guillermo del Toro. Now, tell me about how Guillermo is able to really interweave both beautiful and frightening elements together so successfully. I think it's there's something about the rigor of Guillermo's imagination is that he's able to marry um, narrative elements that are part of a sophisticated and adult uh, story with, with emblems or metaphors, if you like, in a supernatural context, so that there is this fantastical element which is, in, which is completely and intricately linked to the, the reality, the human reality. I don't know where he gets that from, I think it's just... I guess I say the precision of his imagination. Um, everything in Guillermo's mind is, is tied together. Now, love is transcendent, it's beautiful, and it's yeah. scary. Yeah. Talk about the power of love. Yeah. Well, Gothic romance has always been about these opposite forces of love and death. You know, that, that um, love is, a, is this primary force of life, and uh, death obviously is, is, is anti life, is the end of life. And um, in Gothic romance, there's always a young heroine who's drawn to a tall, dark stranger, and it's by her sexuality, by her, by her love. And um, I think, especially in Crimson Peak, love is a force of change. Love is a force of chaos. It makes you vulnerable. It makes you um, open to betrayal. Um, but ultimately, it has it has a transformative power. Um, and there are two kinds of love in the film. There's Edith's love, uh, the character of Mia Bashakovska, and Lucille, played by Jessica Chastain. And Edith's love is pure and, and open, and, and Lucille's is repressed and misshapen. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you.